Hello and welcome to the Paratech Virtual Workshop. Today we're going to be discussing the Pack Hammer. That's our multi-purpose workhorse. My name is Tom Gavin. I'm going to be the presenter today. Before we start, I want to make you aware of a new webinar that we have coming up. It's virtual webinar, March 5th, 2021. It's going to be heavy lifting and stabilization of the commercial vehicle with Jeff Hakala of Blue Collar Training Network. Jeff is a career firefighter out in California. He is an excellent presenter and excellent instructor. So mark your calendars for that. Share the news. Look forward to seeing you then. So as we do with all of them, we're going to start out with a little warning. This PowerPoint presentation is for informational purposes only. It's not a substitute for hands-on training taught by a qualified instructor. Regular hands-on training is necessary to become proficient. Improper use of any equipment may cause serious injury or death. Think safe, be safe, and you'll act safe. Let's talk a little bit about the history. In 1984, Paratech introduced the Air Gun 40. It was a pneumatic impact tool. In 1985, the US Navy purchases 500 Air Guns 40s for shipboard firefighting. A few years later, Paratech introduces the Air Guns 40's big brother, the hard hitting Pack Hammer 90. Eventually, the Air Gun was discontinued in favor of the new upgraded Pack Hammer. 2019, we introduced the Pack Hammer R for Grab and Go Kit. More about that later. So the purpose, this tool is designed for forcible entry during firefighting and rescue operations. Forcible entry, lock and hasp breaking, breaching masonry walls, digging, tunneling, trench operations, penetrating concrete floors, piercing metal buildings, motor vehicles, cutting metals and composites, and aircraft fire rescue and shipboard firefighting. Pack Hammer's unique design provides a pneumatic impact and penetrating tool with adjustable output and very low air consumption. That's important. We're going to talk more about that. Depending upon air pressure, the tool can deliver between 1,000 and 1,100 high impact blows per minute. The tool weighs 11.3 pounds or 5.1 kilograms. Here we have a performance comparison on the blue line way over on the left. That's one of our competitors tools that we got a hold of to test. The orange line next was our air gun, which is now discontinued, and you'll see why when you look at the pack hammer line. So on the left-hand side is your input pressure controlled by your regulator. On the bottom is energy output in foot pounds, which is a measurement of force. So if you take this tool up to 200 PSI, which is the maximum with the new regulator, you're looking at about 950 foot pounds of force on each blow. So that's about 1,000 blows per minute or 1,100 blows per minute and 950 foot-pounds. That is a lot of force. So the pack hammer was designed from the ground up to be a rescue tool. The engineers knew that as a rescue tool, it would have to work and effect operate effectively on a limited air supply like an SCBA bottle. The competitive tools are shop tools designed to operate on an uninterrupted air supply like a compressor. They consume a lot of air. Hydraulic and electric power tools require a hookup to a bulky power source. The pack hammer is designed for situations where the power source must be as portable as the tool. Operating the pack hammer at its preset pressure, 200 PSI or 14 bar, it can run in intermittently for up to 15 minutes on a single 30-minute SCBA bottle. The pack hammer hits harder and runs longer. The patent design of the pack hammer uses air on the forward power stroke only. It uses heavy duty springs on the return stroke, thereby reducing the air consumption dramatically. The tool can operate from any compressed air source at a preset pressure of 200 PSI or 14 bar. The pack hammer is safe to use in trenches and confined spaces at its exhaust only air. Whether it's cutting the roof of an overturned school bus, breaching concrete, or piercing the skin of a vehicle or aircraft, or extinguishing a fire, the pack hammer is ready, ready and capable. Let's make better rescues. Unique to the pack hammer's design is an inline oiler. It uses standard air tool oil and it lubricates the interior of the tool on every stroke. This assures smooth and trouble-free operations. Remember, when you're changing the air cylinder, add air tool oil to the inline oiler. There are more than 10 specialized bits available in heat-treated S7 tool steel. It's been hardened and sharpened to RC45 for long life. The bits are available in lengths from 11 inches to 20 inches or 27.9 centimeters to 50.8 centimeters. There is even a plug driver and neoprene plugs for a hazmat operation. All steel components are protected with electroless nickel plating for maximum corrosion resistance. 
if you look at the picture up here on the left, you see there's two piercing applicators. This, they come in sizes. The first one, you'll see the smaller one is six inches or 15.2 centimeters. The next one is 14 inches or 35.6 centimeters. We now have a 31 inch or 77 centimeter piercing nozzle designed to pierce aircraft skin and cargo containers. Unique pack hammer design, the inline oiler uses standard, wrong way, sorry about that. Piercing applicators, water and fire retardant foam delivery rates depend on two variables. One is pressure and the other one is viscosity. A thick foam will not flow as fast as water at the same pressure because of friction loss. We tested the piercing applicator with water at 116 PSI or 8 bar and achieved flow rates from 53 to 66 gallons per minute or 200 to 250 liters per minute in a wide fog pattern. Multiply that by the 17 1 to 1 to, to fog applicator and you can put out a lot of fire. The pack hammer is available by itself or in one of three kits. The standard pack hammer kit on the right, the pack hammer self-contained on the left, and this is the Pack Hammer Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting Grab and Go Kit. This is our latest iteration of this tool. Standard Pack Hammer Kit, in addition to the Pack Hammer with inline oiler, there's a high pressure preset regulator set at 200 PSI or 14 bar. The regulator can attach to any air source up to 5,500 PSI or 379.2 bar. There's a 3 8 inch a 30 by 32 foot hose or 9.5 millimeter by times 10 meter. The yellow air hose has safety couplings. Three bits are included in a canvas storage pouch, a 14 by one inch or 35.6 by 2.5 centimeter chisel bit, an 11 inch or 27.7 centimeter curved metal cutter, and a 14 inch or 35.6 centimeter bull point bit. Also included, included is a manual air tool oil, a pair of safety gobbles. This all round out the kit. The Packhammer SC has a small SCBA cylinder mounted to it. This allows for a very quick deployment. The Packhammer SC kit was designed to exceed the U.S. Air Force requirements for an aircraft skin penetrator. This comprehensive kit comes with nine bits and two piercing applicators to get you through any rescue operation. There is also a plug driver with two leak sealing plugs. There's also a regulator, high pressure regulator, uh, air hose, oil, goggles that all fit nicely into a wheeled Pelican case. The pack hammer self-contained. The 26 cubic inch composite air cylinder is attached to the pack hammer with quick release clamps. The clamps are backwards compatible and will fit on older pack hammer 90s. The SCBA cylinder is connected to a high pressure regulator preset at 250 PSI or 14 bar. This micro regulator at 200 PSI or 14 bar will run about two minutes. The Pack Hammer SC is very mobile, it's easy to operate, and it's ready for a quick deployment. Once the attached cylinder is exhausted, the air supply assembly can be quickly disconnected or detached in favor of another air source. Disconnect the safety coupling and attach it to another air supply hose. The rescuer now has the benefit of a standard Pack Hammer to continue rescue operations. The Aircraft Rescue Firefighting Grab-and-Go Kit. This multi-purpose kit is designed to handle numerous functions in an ARF incident. It includes a high-pressure preset regulator and an air hose with safety couplings. A cutting bit is designed to cut aircraft windshields and canopies and a bit to cut sheet metal. A plug driver with two neoprene plugs for leak seals. Remember, the pack hammer uses less air and hits harder than any other tool of its kind. Also included is a 14 inch or 355.6 millimeter piercing applicator that can penetrate the new composite materials that the major aircraft manufacturers are now using. All of this plus your SCB, SCBA cylinder can fit pre-connected into the compartmentalized shoulder bag. Setting the system up this way makes the grab and go kit a truly rapidly deployable tool. Reach in the bag, turn on your pre-connected SCBA cylinder, select the proper bit and off you go. The Aircraft Rescue Kit, this was designed with the help of members of the ARF community. With their input, our engineers were able to design a tool to exceed their expectations. This all started back a few years ago at the Philadelphia Fire Department Engine 78 at Philadelphia International Airport. They were using an Air Gun 40 for aircraft firefighting. With the new composite, tool, uh, composite materials that are coming out, we needed a tool 
that hit harder than the air gun 40 for aircraft rescue and firefighting in the 21st century. After leaving Philadelphia, our next stop was the FAA Tech Center near Atlantic City, New Jersey, where we were introduced to Glare, a new composite material being used by Airbus, and CFRP, or carbon fiber reinforced plastic, used by Boeing. Currently, or at that time we were there, they had no tools that could pierce these new exotic materials. Okay, so this is from an FAA Tech Center paper on firefighting with these new composite materials, and I'm going to quote this. Historically, composite materials have been used in commercial aircraft in non-structural parts throughout the aircraft. However, their use in the fuselage has been limited. Currently, two particular advanced composite materials have been used significantly in construction of commercial aircraft fuselages, carbon fiber reinforced plastic or CFRP and glass reinforced aluminum laminate or glare. The glare is currently being used by Airbus as the world's largest aircraft manufacturer and CFRP is used by Boeing, the world's second leading aircraft manufacturer. So next, we took the tool, the pack hammer, and this prototype down to Tyndall Air Force Base uh, Fire Department in Florida. We were there a couple of weeks before Hurricane Michael destroyed the base. But while there, we asked the firefighters what they desired in an aircraft rescue and firefighting tool. They wanted something to cut the canopy of an F-22 Raptor advanced tactical fighter and a tool that could pierce not just the fuselage, but the multi-layer engine housings of military aircraft. As you will see in the next two slides, we are able to check both of those boxes. So what you see right here is a close-up, and that's the ARF grab and go kit with a bit, and it's cutting the canopy of a F-22 Raptor. Notice behind the bit, there's a wide kerf, or we remove, remove a lot of material and we don't reheat the plastic. When trying to cut this plastic with a saw, the saw cut through it, a circular saw, but it got so hot that as the blade passed through, the kerf was so thin that the plastic actually fused itself back together again. The pack hammer didn't do that. That specially defined bit removed the material and cut. So in this video here, you're going to see that we're at the air base and we've got an engine housing here. It's several layers of, of metal thick. And the firefighter has the elf grab and go kit slung over his shoulder. And he's taking the tool and he's just going to pierce it. He doesn't have it attached to a water or foam right now. He's just going to take it now and he's going to attempt to pierce this particular material. So all of that took less than five seconds. In about four seconds, he was able to pierce that material three different layers. The next stop was the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport Fire Training Research Center. They were using a pneumatic drill to pierce an aircraft fuselage to apply water and firefighting agents. We found out by doing our research that this pneumatic drill was very popular on ARF trucks, although the problem was this drill was not very efficient. Okay, it could pierce an aircraft fuselage. Oh, although the drill could pierce the fuselage, it tended to push the interior plastic skin outward and trap the firefighting agents behind it. It was hard to attach a bit to the drill head, especially in dark or smoky environments and when wearing an SCBA mask. Repair parts were very hard to come by and the drill tool used a tremendous amount of air. Again, this is a shop tool designed to be hooked to a compressor. It was very expensive, costing over $16,000 per unit. The Aircraft Rescue Firefighting Grab and Co Kit was able to meet all of the needs of the folks at Tyndall Air Force Base. We could do, we could pierce the fuselage and the interior skin faster than the drill. The kit had multiple bits and a plug driver with two neoprene plugs for leak sealing, had a cutting bit for sheet metal and a piercing applicator. And attaching the bits was very, very easy. So as you can see, this is a multi-purpose tool. It does a lot of things in an ARF environment. Replacement parts are readily available and repairs can be done in-house. The firefighters are amazed at how little air the pack hammer consumed. The ARF grab and go kit is a multi-purpose tool. So right here, we're just gonna demonstrate how easy it is to actually put a bit on this tool and take it off and change bits. So we have Daniel, one of our representatives from Germany and he's here to help us. And so we're gonna take a look at how simple it is. He selects a bit, slide down the collar, puts in the bit and releases it. Simple as one, two, three, change bits. Slide the collar, drop in the bit, lock. That's simple. 
So last thing we went to was the Hollywood Fort Lauderdale International Airport exercise. We spent two days there training and demonstrating the ARF grab and go kit to multiple fire to fire airport firefighters. Day two consisted of a couple of challenges. The first was extinguishing the fire in an aircraft fuselage and a fire in an aircraft cargo container. As you will see in the following video, the ARF grab and go kit performed exceedingly well. All challenges were met and the fires were extinguished quickly. first turn it on and also when you turn on the air gun there's no dive recoil that you used to have the double you know we hit it and it comes back the piston goes back it's just one stroke and it's, it's very smooth yeah, yeah super smooth good job what do you think i thought that it, it had good coverage inside the plane it makes it pretty good foam there was no recoil on it definitely did the job and it was easy to maneuver all right guys thanks thank you i hope we get it So that's it. I want to thank you for your time. If you'd like a pack hammer or arc grab and go kit demonstration, please call your local Paratech dealer or you can call toll free 1-800-435-9358 in the USA. Or if you're in Europe, plus 4566112422. Thank you.